So what do you, what equipment do we need? Well, I have lots of equipment. I have lots of equipment. Look down here. Let's move down here. Today, what do you need? What do you need? Well, if you've got an empty milk bottle, that would be good. An empty milk bottle, that would be really good. If you've got socks, if you've got socks, socks. Socks are brilliant, all right? So make sure you've got socks because we've been throwing socks around. Maybe you might need a ram, all right? So here I've got a piece of laminated paper that I'm going to use the lamp that you can use a tray, a dinner tray, or a lid to a plastic box like this. That would be great. Balloons, balloons are good. If you've got balloons, fantastic. And what else have we got? Oh, um, I've got a rattle here. You have a pot in a plastic box. And something a bit more sensory. I've got a bag of pasta that we can use as well. So I'm making a mess everywhere. But that's all right. That's all right. No one's going to tell. No one's going to tell me off, are they? Right. There you go. That's your equipment. I'm going to get that in a minute. But let's start. We're going to start with some stretches. All right, we're going to start with some stretches. So what I would like you to do is quite nice and simple, it's nice sort of breathing up and down stretches, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna raise our arms, all right? So, and then we're gonna breathe out. All right, so nice controlled breathing, all right? So, so if you keep doing that, if you're sat in a chair, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to sit here. All right. And again, it can be. So we breathe in, nice big breath as we go. And then. Yeah, so what we can do also, uh, parents, is if you want to get help your child to breathe and have controlled breathing, if you breathe nice and loud, you might find that they just naturally copy. Okay, another one we can do is imagine that you're holding a, holding a ball in your hand, okay? Imagine that you're, it's going to, it's going to, Expand, okay, so breathe out, breathe in, sorry. Okay. So it's like you've got this magic ball in your hand that when you, when you breathe in, it goes out and then breathe in, breathe out. Okay. So 
So there you go. It's a nice breathe in there. All right, nice breathe. Might do that at the end of the lesson as well. All right, so just something a bit different. All right, guys, we're all nice and chill now, aren't we? All right, but what we're going to do, we're going to continue with our stretching and our warming up. We're going to do Simon Says. So basically, Simon Says, if I say, Simon Says, raise your hands, you raise your hands. If I don't say Simon Says, but I say, touch your chest, and you do that, and I catch you out, that is a pointer to me. Yes, I caught some people out on Zoom yesterday, so I know that I do catch people out. All right, so I'm going to sit down on this, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to clean up some of my mess. Because I might use a clue, I might use some of the equipment. Simon says, "Okay." Simon says, "Tap your arms." So we're just going to feel our bodies, all right? So Simon says, "Tap your arms." And again, this can be this can work for whatever's works for you as an individual. It might be you can only tap your, you might be able to tap your hands, or you might just be able to just move your fingers. It's whatever works for you. So initiate that movement that you can do, yeah? Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, reach forwards. Okay, and again, this can be reaching whatever's best for you. So again, if you're at a, sat at a table or you've got a tray, you might slide your hands forward, or you might not, you might just push forwards. But however far you can reach, listen to your body and stop when you need to. You can do the standing up as well, or even if you're sat on the floor, yeah? Reach forwards. Tap your head. Who did I catch out there? Who did I catch out there? Who's tapping their head? I didn't say Simon Says. Okay. Simon Says, squeeze your socks. Squeeze your socks. You might pass them from one hand to the other, or you might hold two hands. So squeezing your socks. Work in those fingers. Okay. Work in the fingers. Fingers are an underrated part of our body that we don't warm up. I played goalkeeper for about 30 years at football. And I don't think I ever really warmed up my fingers. Silly, really, isn't it? When you think that footballs are being smacked at me, I'd be doing a lot of this now, like squeezing a tennis ball, squeezing some socks just to really work my, my hands. Because I'd always be busy for the football teams I played for. I let loads of goals. There you go. Squeeze in your socks. Chop your socks. Woohoo! Did I catch you out? Did I catch you out, Bruce? Did I catch you out? Alexander? William? What about you two? Did I catch you boys out? Hope you're well, guys. Hope all of you well. Okay, Simon says, throw your socks in the air. All right, so we're just throwing the socks up in the air. Now look at this one. This one's coming all tangled up. That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't have to be a knee bowl, a knee ball. I mean, look at that. I'm actually, I'm actually holding it from the bottom and then just looping it. That's quite cool, isn't it? So Simon says, throw your socks in the air. All right. And again, it might be you just pass it from one hand to the other. That's fine. Simon says, pass it from one hand to the other. Simon says, throw the sock up really hard. Woohoo! At least it didn't land on my head. Touch, stand your feet. Wiggle your toes. Move your arms. Who's copying me at the moment? Am I catching you out over there? Simon says, punching up. <laughs> And we're going to go for a power 10. Simon says, power 10. Simon says, relax. Okay. So, 
uh, again, with these exercises, you can pause this video any time and practice them yourselves, all right? So I know I'm sort of flying through this at the moment, but again, it's just, you work at your own pace. If I'm too fast or too slow, I apologize, all right? But again, it's a good way to get started for a session by having a little fun game to make you think, yep, we're in for the Mr. Higgins Indoor Inclusive PE. We are up for it. And Simon says, good, good game, it starts us off. Right. There you go, guys. I'm tidying up. I'm going to just move back a little bit. Okay. Can we count around here? Can you see my head? Yes, you can. All right. Now, what you're going to need now, what I tidy up, is... Right? So, I'm going to get my bottle. Now, we did this yesterday. We're going to focus Amy at our item. All right, so what I'm going to do, I've got my balloon here, it could be balloon, it could be socks, it could be pasta, whatever you want. I'm going to practice aiming at my item. Now what you can do is fill the, water, the bottle up with water to make it have more resistance. I haven't done that today, so it might as well keep for a moment. But I just want you to keep practicing aiming for your bottle. So this is where we can pause the video and keep practicing. And you might need an add-on to help bring, bring the bottle back. That's fine. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right. You might, some of you might need, might drop onto the bottle. And it's about the, the person, the participant, making the move to throw their socks or whatever item they're using. So just keep practicing doing this, guys. All right? Hopefully you're doing some really good practicing as I'm talking. You might need a slope. You might need a ramp. All right, you might need a ramp. Okay, I've got my ramp here. It's going to be angled down towards my target. Just clicked it there. And patience, and allow yourself time to take part. This is where you will need to pause the video, I would say, because you would want to pause it and just practice. Maybe can you get 10 in a row? All right, let's try and do 10 in a row. All right, I'm going to go now, but this is where you might pause it and work at your own pace. All right, one. Two. someone's hand and then just helps let go or it might be you place the sock into the hand and then they just gently loose the from the fingers. Six. Yeah, patience. Seven. Or three more to go, the pressure's on. Eight. Two more to go. I'm going to use my other hand, so you can use both hands if you want. Nine. And you can even hold the hold the sock with two hands if you want. Chest pass it. Okay, you can just drop it in, slam dunk. And there's a ten. So so many different throws. You can put out throws. I'm going to throw some socks towards my, towards my screen. So you could throw one-handed, okay? What I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a mess here, but I'm going to just fold one. So you can fold one-handed with your stronger hand, so I'm right-handed, so you might aim one hand with your, your, your strong hand, or you might use your weak hand, so I'm, I'm going to use my left hand, which is my, my less dominant hand, yeah? Fine, you might want to use chest passes or chest throws. So you push from your chest, yeah? Push from your chest. Absolutely fine, okay? And you might 
one and then just drop, drop onto your target. Okay, drop on or use, use your round to help you aim for the target. Yeah? So there's different ways to throw there. What I want you guys to focus on today is with these bottles, increasing the distance. How far can you throw? So start really close to you. Start close, and maybe every time you, you strike your target, you move it slightly further in front of you. Yeah? And then we go again. And then you go again, you move slightly further in front of you again. All right? And then if you miss that, maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm about three, maybe I'm three to five goes at trying to get it. So really concentrate. Oh, I'm not quite getting that. Try again. Maybe I need to maybe I need to push my arm through more. Yeah? Follow through that pause. I need to follow through. Maybe I need to follow through. Oh, not quite. Alright? And so if you didn't hit your target, it was too far. Bring it back closer to you. Right, I'm gonna try again. The fly through. Yeah, really concentrate. Yes. Alright, and I'll follow through is when you Follow your arm, follow the, the top of the board, you release it. Okay? So that so you, you find how far you can place your target. Can you go the length of your living room or the length of your hallway or your bedroom? So you decide how far can you get to? How far can you get to? Alright? How far? That's the challenge I want you to focus on. So you can do that, show you some good skills. So aim at targets. Uh, later on this week, get some more targets, like plastic cups or yogurt pots that are empty and cleaned. And we're going to use them as well so we can have multiple targets. All right? And we can have maybe or even more Milk bottles. Maybe fill the milk bottles up with water as well, but make sure you do the lid up. Okay, so today I want you to keep practicing aiming for that. So how far you can aim for a target? How far can you go? Yeah? That's what I want to keep practicing. See if you, where your personal best is. Is it going to be up towards the TV? Is it going to be next to the sofa? Is it all the length of the hallway? Whatever works for you. Okay? Right. Going to do some shout outs. So we're going to finish off there. All right? We're going to do some breathing exercises to finish. All right? So just quickly, shout outs. Dorset Children's Foundation. Woo! Hello, Dorset Children's Foundation. What a legendary group that is. Hello. Lots of my students are part of that. So Dorset Children's Foundation, I love all the work you do. Legends. Also, Class Lower! Woo! Class Lower! Honey! Let's hear it for Honey! Let's hear it for the Georges! George 1 and George 2! Woo! Let's hear it for Mia! Matt! And Izzy! Woo! Izzy! So there you go, they've been tuning in, they tuning in their lessons to watch this. Honey! Go, 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 go! Right, finish off with some breathing. All right, so, like we did at the start, so we're going to breathe, breathe in and move our arms up. So, breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. In. Let's do the full magic ball again.
And again, you can have your adults that help move your arms, then support the arms to go up and move in, and to support the arms going down, and the same to support them going out and in. So, nice calm way to finish. Let me know if you get involved. Hashtag challenge Mr. H. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. H Multisports and email me students. So great effort today. Well done. All right. And a nice controlled way to finish. All right. So thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. And I will see you tomorrow for more indoor inclusive PE. I'm in my fourth week. We're going to keep going. All right. See you later, guys. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. 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 See ya.